One of the preferred way to park a car is to reverse inside the parking spot. Parking like this is quite handy as it means that when we return to our vehicle, we can just come and drive away without having to worry about reversing out of the parking spot. Some places also include this maneuver as part of their practical driving test. In this video, we'll only focus on how to do a 90 degree reverse parking on the left. We will first look at the theory and I'll do this maneuver inside the car park. This video is part one and we are reverse parking without cars. We will cover how to reverse park between two cars in part two. If you are new to the channel, consider subscribing for more driving related videos. The first time you practice this maneuver, it's important to choose a quiet car park or pick a time of the day when the car park is less busy. For example, early mornings or evenings. Step one, as we approach our target parking spot, we check the rear view mirror and the left side mirror. Next, we put on the left indicator about 20 meters before we reach our target parking spot. We are indicating left to warn other car park users that we are about to stop and park on the left. Step two. Next, we drive past our target parking spot and position our left side mirror just after the first line of the third parking spot from the one we want to park in. So here is our target parking spot. We pass the first parking spot, second parking spot, then stop as our left side mirror reaches the first line of the third parking spot. Sometime just a few centimeters before or after the line, depending on the size of the vehicle. If you are driving a small car, just before the line. If you are driving a large vehicle, for example, a big SUV or a truck, a few centimeters after the line. Now we are ready to start our maneuver. We need to prepare, observe, then start the maneuver. To prepare, we put the car in reverse. To observe, we check the mirrors and both blind spots. We also need to turn our head and physically look at the rear. We can also look at the reversing camera if we have one, but notice the reversing camera screen always warns us to check the surroundings first. Next, we full lock the steering wheel to the left while moving slowly. We want to maintain a walking pace speed. At this stage, we are monitoring the sides of the car using the side mirrors. We also need to monitor other oncoming car park users and give way if necessary. Once the car is inside our target parking spot and is straight, we stop, then turn the steering wheel about one and a half turn to the right to straighten the tires. Remember, we want to wait until the car is straight. If we don't wait until the car is straight, the car will be on an angle and crooked. We then stop, put the car in park if we are driving an automatic vehicle or neutral if we are driving a manual car. Also, we put the handbrake on if the car has one or the parking brake. In some vehicles, the parking brake will engage by itself once the car is in park. The next step is to make sure it's safe to open the doors. If safe, we open the door and check if we are inside the parking spot and straight. Another way to do this is if the car has the reversing camera, we can put the car in reverse, then compare the distance on the left and the right hand side. If we are happy with the way we parked, we switch off the engine, then exit the vehicle. If we are driving a manual car, it's also best to put the car in first gear for some extra protection, especially if we parked uphill or downhill. We can also exit the vehicle and do a quick inspection. Now let's put all this step into practice in a real life situation. In this video, we are practicing without cars. So remember that when practicing this maneuver, we want to make sure that we choose a car park that's not too busy. First, we check the rear view mirror and the left side mirror, then indicate left. Here's our target parking spot. We pass the first parking spot after it, the second parking spot, then stop 
as our left side mirror reaches the first line of the third parking spot. Remember, if you are driving a car that is quite small, stop a few centimeters before the line. And if you are driving a large vehicle, for example, a big SUV or a truck, a few centimeters after the line. To start the maneuver, we need to prepare, observe, then start the maneuver. To prepare, we put the car in reverse. To observe, we check the mirrors and both blind spots. We also need to turn our head and physically look at the rear. We can also glance at the reversing camera if we have one, but notice the camera screen always warns us to check our surroundings. Remember, the reversing camera does not replace the driver. It's only assisting us, so it's important that we don't entirely rely on it. The camera could break down or something could happen to it, which might require us to park without it. Next, we full lock the steering wheel to the left while moving slowly. We want to maintain a slow walking pace speed. At this stage, we are monitoring the sides using the mirrors and also monitoring other oncoming car park users. Once the car is inside our target parking spot and is straight, we stop then turn the steering wheel about one and a half turn to the right to straighten. Remember, we want to wait until the car is straight before straightening. If we don't wait until the car is straight, the car will be on an angle and crooked. We then stop, put the car in park if we are driving an automatic car or neutral if we are driving a manual car. Also, we have to secure the car by putting on the handbrake or the parking brake, whichever our car has. The next step is to make sure that it's safe to open the door. If safe, we open the door, then check if we are inside the parking spot and straight. Another way to do this is if we have a reversing camera, we can put the car in reverse, then compare the distance on the left and the right hand side. We can also exit the vehicle and do a quick inspection. If we are happy with the way we parked, we switch off the engine, then exit the vehicle. If we are driving a manual car, it's best to put the car in first gear or reverse for some extra protection, especially if we are parked uphill or downhill. In part two of this video, we will look at how to reverse park in between two cars, which is a bit more fun and challenging. So you might want to subscribe if you haven't done so already so that you don't miss out. In part three, we will look at how to correct a reverse parallel park. I hope you found this video useful. Remember, practice makes progress and if you are doing a driving test soon, I wish you the best of luck. See you in the next video.